Can food be a tool for healing? I absolutely believe yes. In this video, I'm going to share with you three affirmations that have been incredibly powerful to me in my weight loss journey just over the last few years. These are affirmations that I have never shared before. They've only been personal in my journal and between me and God. And today I am sharing them with you because I believe they will be transformative for your weight loss journey the way they have been for mine. I'm Sarah with The Holy Mess. I've lost over 100 pounds and I've been maintaining that for almost 20 years. Despite the fact that I've been maintaining my weight loss for a long time, God is still continuing to work in me. He's continuing to transform me. He's continuing to teach me things about my relationship with food and my body and just my spiritual growth, the way that he is sanctifying me in who I am, that I am growing into all God wants me to be. And I believe that he is doing that for you as well, right where you are today, right where you are in your weight loss journey. If you're starting a new year and you're excited for all that is to come and you're continuing on, if you're starting over, if you're using this as a kickstart or a refresh, no matter where you are, God is ready to meet you there. So these three weight loss affirmations, as I shared, I've, I've never shared these publicly before. So this is taking a little bit of courage. It feels quite vulnerable. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. But these have been so valuable for me, and I believe they will be for you too. So what exactly is a weight loss affirmation? It's really just a truth statement. It's a statement of truth. For us as Christians who use the Bible as our truth source, often they're Bible verses or parts of Bible verses or aspects from the Bible that we know to be true about God and who he is and how he acts in our lives. They're truth statements. I also think about affirmations as focusing on where you want to go. Years ago, when I was a triathlete, after I'd first lost weight, I had a coach who watched me run and gave evaluation. No pressure there. That was really stressful. Me, the kid who was always picked last for gym class and somebody's watching me run. And one of the first things she said is, Sarah, you look down when you run. And what happens is you're literally running yourself into the ground. You need to instead look at where you want to go. Look at the finish line, which is part of why our Christian weight loss program is called Faithful Finish Lines. It's all rooted from me learning in that experience. Focus on where you want to go. So when you think about affirmations, we always want to state them in the positive. It's helpful to use them over and over again and focus on where you want to go. Affirmation number one for me, I am healing. I am healing. Um, those of you who know my story know that I have struggled with severe digestive issues for the last couple years. Actually, I think I'm going on three or four years now since it first started. And it started what seemed like fairly innocently with a really bad case of heartburn, except it never got better. I went to my doctor and then another doctor and another doctor, and it ended up a whole series of um, tests and medications and getting worse and worse and no diagnosis in sight to the point that I was lying on my couch, miserable with a heating pad for days and days on end. I was so weak and exhausted. I could barely get up just to go to the bathroom. I couldn't function in daily life. And there were so few foods that I could eat that wouldn't cause problems. Eventually I was diagnosed with sucrose intolerance. Um, I started a medication and a very, very strict diet. Well, I'm happy to tell you that um, almost two years later, I'm still taking the medication and I'm still careful with my diet, but I have made so much progress. I can eat so many more foods now that I couldn't eat before. Um, when I first started the diet, I was eating no sugar, no starch, even to the point of like no starch in medications or no starch in um, spice mixes. That was how strict I had to be. Many days I only ate meat and eggs because that was all that my body could tolerate. I am so much healthier now. I am thrilled that I can eat so many more foods. Even though doctors told me it might not be possible and I might not ever heal from this, I fully believed that I could heal. I could 100% recover. And I still believe that is going to happen for me. So the affirmation that I have written Every day in my journal for probably the last three years is I am healing. I felt like I couldn't accurately say I am healed because my healing hadn't happened yet, but I believed that it would. I am healing. I've also seen how God has brought me healing in the last couple years with my relationship with food. 
I've been honest that even though I've been maintaining my weight loss for a long time, it's still really hard. <laughs> I'm still hungry a lot. I think about food a lot. I almost, um, for a season, felt like obsessed with food that my... Um, what used to be an obsession with junk food now had kind of turned into an obsession with, um, you know, healthy eating or tracking calories or Weight Watchers points. And I, and I wasn't comfortable with that. I still had the desires to binge. So last year, I went back to therapy. And uh, I've been honest about that too. Therapy has been a huge part of my weight loss journey. Certainly when I first lost the 100 pounds, therapy was the catalyst for losing weight. And I used Weight Watchers as the program just to give me guidance. But it was therapy, changing my thoughts and um, the way I understood how God looked at me with my food issues, learning to have compassion for myself and love and accept myself the way God has because of Jesus. Completely changed everything. So this last year I needed, maybe you could say a tune up and I went back and I did some more work on my relationship with food. And I have some videos about that. I'll post the links below this. And um, what I learned through that experience with therapy was so powerful and so meaningful. And so when I say I'm healing, I was healing from my digestive issues, but I was healing from some of my food issues too during that time. Number two, thin is safe. Thin is safe. Now, I have not shared this one before because I know some of us don't like the word thin, and I understand. You know, this uh, when I share this affirmation, and this is something I've written in my journal every day for a long time, too, thin is safe, not because I'm glorifying being thin or, like, being skinny. I would never really resonate with the word skinny as a goal that I have. My goal has always been health, to be healthier, to be at a body weight that is healthy, for my frame, to be not um, overeating on a regular basis, to not be binging. Those are really the goals that I had. But it has been important for me because of some of my past trauma to, um, to recognize that being at a healthy weight for me is, is okay, that I'm safe at this healthy weight because life is going to throw some different things at me at this weight that were different when I was 100 pounds heavier and that I'm safe in all of that. So um, understand when I use the word thin, but somehow saying at a healthy weight for me is safe just didn't, didn't resonate with me, but thin is safe is where I came to with this. So adjust this affirmation for what works for you. Um, I've written about this too, about trauma and weight. Some of us hold on to our weight because of past trauma. If you feel like this is possible for you, I highly encourage you to seek out um, a therapist, a doctor, someone that you can work with um, to help you with this issue. Sometimes our weight, as much as we don't want it and we wish it wasn't there, it acts as a barrier. It acts as a protection. And I didn't understand this at first until I started working through some of my issues. You know, my weight was something I could always blame situations on. If somebody treated me poorly or didn't like me or rejected me for some reason, I would always just say, well, it's because I'm overweight. And that's their problem. I mean, if they don't like people who are overweight, then they've got something wrong and they shouldn't be body shaming. And sometimes those things were true. But sometimes it was true that they just didn't like me because <laughs> everybody doesn't like every person or something about my behavior turned them off or I just wasn't the right person for the job or it just wasn't the right situation to connect. But it was so painful for me because of my self-esteem issues that I couldn't see that. So I blamed it on my weight. So part of learning to um, get to a healthy weight and stay at a healthy weight was to stop self-sabotage. And using this information, using this affirmation was helpful in that. Thin is safe. If you are a woman who has experienced um, any type of past abuse of your body, so sexual abuse or some other kind of abuse, then especially this one could be powerful for you, again, with the help of a professional. Um, also, if you've lived in an overweight body, you've experienced trauma. Pretty much all of us in today's culture who are living in heavier bodies have experienced trauma. So this affirmation could be helpful for you as well. So of the two affirmations so far, how do those resonate with you? Tell me about it in the comments. What do you think about the affirmation, I am healing? And how about the affirmation, thin is safe? 
number three affirmation that I have used. And um, oh, this is a personal one. I get a little emotional because it's so powerful. This has been so incredibly powerful for me. God is using food to heal me. God is using food to heal me. And um, I take this from Jeremiah 17, 14, which says, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. So um, part of my story is that I was a compulsive overeater. I was a binge eater. I would um, binge on whole cartons of ice cream, whole pizzas, whole um, like leftover casseroles, eating it, standing up in front of the fridge, driving through the um, fast food and eating food in the car and then pretending I didn't do it and coming home and eating a meal with my family, using my family's grocery money to buy binge foods that I knew when I was walking through the grocery store, I was going to take it home and binge on it. And our family was on a tight budget at the time and it was money we didn't really have. Um, hiding wrappers so my family wouldn't see it. Lots of very self-harming binge behaviors that I experienced when I was heavier. And as I shared, I still, even though I'm 20 years into this and have so much healing and so much food freedom that I never had before, still having some of those tendencies, some of those desires, some of that physical drive to food and wanting to keep eating food. And this affirmation has been so powerful for me because I tend to be a restrictor. So I will restrict very, very heavily, which then leads to me getting overly hungry and then binging and then feeling guilty and feeling over full and feeling like, ugh, you know, sick, like, oh, I just, you know, I'm in this like sugar coma and then not eating. And then the whole cycle starts over. And I was so strongly entrenched in this cycle when I was 100 pounds heavier. And we worked on it a lot in therapy and I made tons of progress. But I really realized that just even over the last couple of years, it was a, it was like a baby version of where I had been before, but I was still doing a lot of that. And that restriction, was part of what was leading me to overeat. So God is using food to heal me has been really powerful for me in allowing myself to, to eat more or to eat more treats or to eat some junk food sometimes, incorporating that in my regular plan. And that's something that I've been teaching many women through our Faithful Finish Lines program, together with my business partner, Becky, who's also lost 100 pounds through the three-day diet that I do. That looks like this. You can get this for free at theholymess.com. And in fact, as I'm recording this video, we're going to be doing this together as a group in January through my 30-day weight loss challenges. And I'd love to have you come and join me for the next one, which in the, which is in the spring, through my meal plans. And we have a brand new meal plan coming out at the end of January that is specifically going to help you with this problem. So as I've worked with more and more women, I'm seeing that this is so common in our culture. Skipping breakfast, eating a super light lunch, and then having like all the points or calories for the end of the day. That was what I used to do. I call it point sorting. I was a point sorter. I would save it all up for bedtime and dinner, but then I would just end up drastically overeating. If that's your pattern, if you fall into a pattern of nighttime overeating, I would encourage you to consider this affirmation. God is using food to heal me. And how can you eat more, more regularly during the day? It might mean setting an alarm on your phone so that you eat at regular intervals doing, during the day. Going too long without food triggers your body's primitive hunger that will make it so that you will overeat. Not you might overeat, but you will overeat as your body's defense mechanism. This is how God built our bodies to keep us alive. This isn't a moral problem or an ethical problem or a spiritual problem. This is a biology issue where we need to take care of ourselves by eating regularly. Um, God is using food to heal me. Also, if you're someone who finds that you are really good during the week, but then you binge or overeat on the weekends, this could be a powerful um, concept for you. If you're someone who is really good when you get back on track, but then when you get off track, you get way off track, like at the holidays or on vacations, this could be a really powerful affirmation for you. God is using food to heal me. By saying this to myself every day, by writing it, it gave me permission to include some of those fun foods and treat foods um, on a regular basis throughout my plan, yet in a way that I could still maintain my weight. 
I have um, a post on my website called The Treat Box. If this is an issue for you, go and check that one out. I think you'll find it really helpful. So those are the three affirmations that are near and dear to my heart, ways that God has been healing me in the last couple of years, and I believe he will for you too. So they're, I am healing, thin is safe, and God is using food to heal me. And I read for you Jeremiah 17, 14, which says, heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. So out of these affirmations, which one spoke the most to you? Which one will you start using in this next year? I would love to hear about it. And I really care about you. I believe that you can do this. In fact, I know that you can do this. You can lose weight. You can keep it off. You can get to a healthy weight that is right for your individual body. And you can stay there for the rest of your life. I know you can. I absolutely believe in it for you. Even if you've never been able to do it before in your whole life, I know that you can do it now. I believe in you. I'm Sarah with The Holy Mess. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.